hey guys welcome back um if it's been a while since my last video so i've just been so busy with like preparing for babies and um just moving and everything it's been so hectic but i just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing and showing me love on my last video which was actually my first video um yeah that meant a lot to me so and if you're new um, join the team you can subscribe too and I I don't even want to make this like a super long intro I just want to show you guys right away um, how to make this twist up belly bomb that is great for pregnancy because it helps with stretch marks and it also helps with itching which can be like super irritating I have that right now even in my last trimester so um, yeah let's get right into it but before we do if you're pregnant let me know in the comments below and let me know how far along you are and um, if you plan to create this. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm starting off with coconut oil. I'm also going to be using vitamin E oil and tea tree oil. You can use lavender oil if you choose not to infuse your coconut oil, but since I'm doing that with um, lavender and chamomile, I won't be using either of the essential oils. If you have them though, you can definitely just, you know, skip the infusing step and mix them into your coconut oil. Make sure you dilute it. I'm going to be using beeswax, cocoa butter, and shea butter. These are pretty firm, so they'll hold the shape. Mango butter is optional as well. You're going to need an empty deodorant tube and a mason jar and spoon for mixing everything. Here are my dried flowers that I'm using because I choose to infuse. If you don't want to infuse, remember, just use the essential oils and put them into the coconut oil. You're gonna wanna put them into the oil after the oil is in a liquefied state, so that way it's diluted. And here's the organza fabric to strain um, the infused oil later on. So before we begin the actual process, I just wanna say really quick, um, I have stretch marks. I don't think there's anything wrong with them at all. Um, I know in my first trimester I was like terrified of the thought of developing them, but now that I realize that I've carried a little baby for almost 40 weeks, it's just not something to be ashamed of at all. It's like a trophy. It happens to everyone and I think we should be proud of them and we should definitely embrace them instead of being ashamed of them. So yeah, let's continue. <laughs> So here's the part that I've been talking about, infusing the coconut oil. I'm putting a little bit of coconut oil in a jar and I'm gonna let it liquefy in this um, hot water for until it melts. Coconut oil melts at 76 degrees. And I'm gonna just get my dried flowers ready. Remember I'm using lavender and chamomile. Um, since I had chamomile on hand, I didn't get the oil, it was just a waste. So yeah, now that I'm waiting for my oil to melt, which is melted here. I'm just gonna put all of the flowers into the oil and it can be messy. So just, you know, do this on an actual surface. Don't do it on a rug like me because you're gonna have a lot to clean up. So there are two ways you can infuse your oil and that's either putting it in a sunny place for about four to six weeks or you can do it on a double boiler um, for about four to five hours. So, I don't have four to six weeks. I'm gonna use the double boiler method and I'm gonna do it for about four, about four hours. Um, I'm gonna keep it at a simmer for 95 degrees because if you burn coconut oil, you're gonna lose the properties and it burns at I believe 175 degrees. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it at a simmer. In the meantime, just you know, clean up your deodorant tube and um, get it nice and sanitized. Before you actually pour any of the ingredients into your um, deodorant tube after it's melted, just measure out approximately how much you need. I measured that it'll need about this much in this mason jar. You can use a cup or a paper cup or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but it makes it easier to see how much will fill this area. So just measure it out. To make this easy to explain, I'm going to put it like this. I'm using four main ingredients. And you only see three here because the coconut oil is still being infused in the double boiler. But I'm using one part of each item. In true lazy girl fashion, I'm melting everything in one little jar. 
it's halfway done because I'm still remember I still have to fill up the rest with the coconut oil so here it is everything is done after four hours I have melted everything <laughs> um, it the beeswax mixture hardens really quick so you've got to work really fast but here I am pouring the rest of the jar which is gonna be just coconut oil infused coconut oil sorry remember if you didn't infuse just pour a few drops of each of the essential oils mentioned earlier and you'll have pretty much the same results next i'm adding the rest of my oils like the uh, vitamin e oil i'm adding two droppers and i'm gonna add uh, about 10 drops of tea tree oil i wish i added more so you can add more you can add two droppers i only did one so here it is, I made just the right amount and everything is combined. All of my oils and everything. It was solidifying, so I had to put it back in hot water so everything could melt again and it'll be easily pourable. Um, here's really quick how fast it hardens. Like I spread a little thin layer on my hand and you can see it solidifying already. So work really fast. <laughs> So now I'm just going to pour everything into the deodorant tube. I had pretty much just the right amount. And I'm going to let it sit there because I didn't want it to, you know, move about. But here it is hardening. And I let it sit for about four hours before I touch it. But it hardens pretty quick, like maybe 30 minutes. I made a little sample one just to be sure that the texture and the consistency was right. Um, just because I never tried it before. But if you guys follow the, you know, the steps i gave you and like the recipe then it should come out perfectly fine but this is what the um the texture looks like it's a few days later by the way that's why my nails are actually done <laughs> in this shot and here it is you guys know i had to make a label for it because i want it to be extra and i put a little pregnant girl on it because palmer is who <laughs> anyways here it is it twists up as promised, but I'm just going to show you guys. It should be very firm. Well, not very firm, but enough so that it melts on your skin as soon as you rub it on. Um, if you don't get the right consistency the first time, just twist it all up, melt it again. If it's too hard, then add some oil. If it's too soft, then add some beeswax and um, just play around with the recipe until you get it right. But yeah, as you can see, it's like melting on my skin. I'm going to show you guys on my belly a little bit later. Um, but nice and firm, melts on your skin, that's what you're looking for. If you're not pregnant, you can actually use this on your um, cracked heels, you can use it on chapped lips, you can just use it on dry skin. Um, it's nice and portable, so, and it twists up and down. It's not as messy as, you know, some butters can be. So using this is pretty self-explanatory, um, you know, just twist it up and rub it on your affected area. I've been using it for about a week, for twice a week, and the properties of these ingredients are so soothing that it's reduced the itching on my belly. I'm so glad I made this product because it's helped so much. I hope you guys found that pretty simple. I know infusing the oil sounded like a lot, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Thumbs up for a nice big belly rub. So that was it, you guys. Um, I definitely want to add this to my hospital bag so I can take it with me even for postpartum use. But if you have any questions about substitutions or anything, let me know. If you have any comments or suggestions, also let me know. And um, one important thing to note, if you are 12 weeks or under, just consult with your doctor about using um, essential oils and stuff like that. because. Sometimes it's not safe and everyone is different. Like I'm sure the butters are okay, but just double check with the oils and you can go ahead and um, make this if you want. Let me know if you do. Don't forget to tag me on social media and show me pictures if you plan to, you know, recreate this. So don't forget to subscribe as well. I'm trying to establish a routine where I um, upload weekly, but we'll see how that goes. If you have any cool suggestions, on videos that I should film um, let me know and I'll be happy to do it for you but until then don't forget to thumbs up and I can't wait to see you guys next time bye